Uh, I'm back. It's been a little while. I made kind of a uh, comical video of how to use a self-tapping screw. Uh, but it's gotten a lot of popularity. So I figured I'd make one that maybe is a little bit more helpful. So what you have is a self-tapping screw. A lot of times you use it to put together sheet metal. You could use it to attach something to any type of metal, really. Uh, as you can see, the tip of the screw, I'm going to try to show you that. See if it'll focus in. I've got a bigger one here. But when you buy these at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, you see the tip of that thing? It's kind of almost like a drill bit. And it literally, that's exactly what it does, is it drills into the metal. The key to um, drilling with these is the pressure that you're going to use with your drill. A lot of times when you're drilling, people, uh, anytime you're drilling, you should put pretty constant pressure so that you're not slipping out of the, uh, the socket area, you know, if it's a Phillips, you want the Phillips to be in there. If you're not putting enough pressure with your drill, it starts to uh, pop out and it'll uh, strip the head of your screw and then your screw. <laughs> so, but with these, you want to be real careful with your initial pressure because if you're uh, drilling into a hard metal surface, it'll start running on you and you're not going to be able to get uh, the penetration and it's not going to drill into one area. If you're drilling into a softer metal, you want to really try to get an initial pressure point because if you can kind of dent it in there, it'll hold. You know, it's almost like using an awl and having that area for it to drill into. So you do got to be careful on what kind of metal that you're drilling on. If you're drilling onto a softer metal, you can apply a little bit more pressure because you're going to have a little indentation and then eventually it'll drill right through that metal. A harder metal, you want to uh, just take your time. You know, just, uh, just enough pressure to keep it on its spot and then gradually increase the pressure and then you'll see it start to shave up a little bit of metal and once you get that shaved metal area so that you know that the point of that screw is going to stay in there you can start to apply a little bit of pressure and uh, help it drill through that piece of metal so I'll just give you an example here and we'll see uh, see how well I do so for this purpose I'm going to be attaching a uh, just a tie wrap to this piece of metal right here. And I'm going to tilt you up a little bit so you can see. Oh man, it's been a little while. I'm not near as good as I used to. We have installers that do all our stuff now, so I don't use it as much as I used to, but let's see how she goes. I always recommend a Phillips head. And let's see, this is a little bit softer metal, so I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure. Slowly, I can see it start to drill now. Let's see if I can give you some of that. But you can kind of see that metal starting to pop off of there. Okay. So we'll just keep it going. I'll see if I can. And voila. She's all the way through. So, that's about the long and short of it. A harder piece of metal, like I say, you want to be, you want to wait until you see it start to drill in before you uh, start to apply too much pressure. Otherwise, that screw's going to start to run on you and uh, scratch whatever it is, the surface you want. Sometimes on those uh, bigger metals, if you can just take something and pop it, you know, like a nail or an awl, and it kind of gives you a little starting place. If you got any questions or you want to see anything else, let me know.